At the most distant range, words filter through the air. Some travel miles through the distance over desert, mountain, plains. Others are spoken on wires in intimate languages. Some cause anguish, others suspicion, a few warm the heart. Others still chill the bones inside. Reports of horrors, dreams, miracles so intense, yet only fragments remain. Syllables of sound are carried by the wind into the atmosphere, where they are rendered meaningless. Beneath the canopy of trees, a man looks out among the nomads. Searches for a face on the savanna, one left here before the rocks learn to speak. He moves through brush, sand below sparse trees, through reeds to the marsh, where he hears the past burn in his ears. His eyes move up, There he sees the free flight of hawks and cranes. Their brief shade crosses over his face as if the earth herself sends him a message. Deep in the sunlight, a childhood afternoon in the country. A woman approaches a farmhouse, his silver pail. The last in a line of demons, she fills the rest of the container to the rim. Surface tension barely, briefly holds. The fluid clear shines in the sun beneath the spigot. A few remaining drops fall. It looks fresh, pure, clean. Yet it contains the most virulent matter, the harshest poison. She smiles, walks away, her work is done. Tension releases, spills onto the grass. There is a foul stench, sulfurous, rotten. The green blades turn to yellow, brown, then decay into a few tears lost at the expense of another. The wind is slow, brought down low, gravity of January chill. A man paces across his carpet of memories. Thoughts merge, then separate. Images of years long faded. Worn denim jacket in the closet. Burned out black light. Lava lamp too slow to be interesting. Stale incense, nights of music. Heels scar a well-worn dance floor. March of lovers hand in hand. Echoes, rituals of mating. The carpet clings to his feet memories to his mind, he finally rests in the present, sighs, aware of today. After he trips over uprooted sidewalk, he pulls a pry bar from construction site ruins, attempts to loosen the large metal disc that holds his soul prisoner underground. He bends his back, locks legs, and leans leverage his weight, then rests for a moment, shifts position clockwise, 
tries again. A small groan comes from inside him. The disc stays firm. He shifts, pulls, shifts, pulls, until he has indentations in the cement, asphalt, and earth. All the way around, marking the hours on a clock. He rests, considers giving up what it could mean, consequences. He tries harder until his arms, legs, back burn with the flames below. The seal breaks. He falls back. A free soul flies out into January night. Cultures of fallen idols worry, huddle in groups, shake, hold each other, grieve for the loved ones caught up in the fury lost. Bolts pull back, cartridges load, hammers move, bullets fire, barrels spark, bodies fall. Children vow revenge, eyes wide, limits strip away, souls cry out, curses in the names of God. Close fellowship. Bonds of history, hearts knowing. Trust of kinship with no flesh in common. Paths connect a close intersection with no stop signs. The road widens beyond. Travelers arm in arm, an anthem fills the air. A nearby stream flows in poetry. Love never ceases in the dark. It carries on subdued, mixes with blue dreams, rings in the echo of songs, melodies of magic, harmony. Inside the vessels that carry us on our way, Love glows between dashboard to city lights. It dances, blinks with airplane strobes. Love lays in the cool grass, gives comfort to the trouble. Watches time pass with the clouds, falls in each drop of rain. Pools beneath, soaks into the very earth herself. <laughs> <laughs> 